What's up, everybody? Grid by Guru here. Um, coming to you today to talk to you a little bit about Pinex. Um, 0.05% trading fees. If you are not part of Pinex, please click the link below and get on board with us. We're tied in with Binance and the volume is, it's just, it's crazy. So with Pinex though, I'm going to talk to you about two things today. The first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is how to make a manual trade. I see a lot of people get on either Discord or Telegram and they say, hey, how do I switch my Bitcoin or my ETH over to USDT? A lot of the bots there that people want to run, run on Tether. And so switching that over is kind of confusing if because if you haven't done it before, it's kind of confusing if you don't know necessarily where exactly to look. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about about a hidden gem. This is not a new feature. However, it is not a feature that is highlighted very much. And I would love for you guys to wait until the end because I think that anybody who watches this video will be um, interested in this feature. All right. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So we're going to pretend like I'm a new new um, investor and I have just sent my Bitcoin over to Pinex. So I've deposited it. I just don't know where it's at and I don't know how to access it. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to start on your home page. Okay. And towards the bottom in the middle, you're going to click on trade. What that's going to do is it's going to bring you to this page on this page. It's going to show you probably some random bot. I have no idea what it will show you. Uh, it's been so long since I've been new right now. Um, it shows all of my trading bots. However, if we go to the very top, you're going to see a spot where it says bot. Right underneath that, it'll say ALGO USDT, ALGO USDT. Yours may say something a little bit different, um, but that's what you're going to click on. When you click on that, it is going to take you to a place where you can end up um, searching for the pair. So if you have Bitcoin, you're going to want to type in uh, BTC USDT. If you have ETH, you're going to type in ETH USDT. And then what you're going to do is you are going to and you'll type that in after you hit the little uh, magnifying glass in the top right. So the search bar will pop up and you'll type that in and then it'll pop up. So again, for this example, I have Bitcoin. We're going to pretend like that. So I'm going to type in BTC and then I'm going to click on the USDT. Okay. It's going to bring me to a page that kind of looks like this. Now you're going to notice two things. This is your buy area. Okay, so in the middle of the screen right now, you have this thing that says buy, you have a thing that says sell. That's what you're going to use. However, if you go to the very top, you're also going to click on manual. Okay, so it may try to start you off with a bot at first, but you can click manual and get to this page. And then what you'll want to do is you're going to want to end up clicking in the middle right under where it says buy or sell. So that's the first thing I guess is you need, you need to figure out whether you're buying or you're selling. So if you're buying, you're going to click on limit. And what that's going to do is it's going to give you three options. You can use a limit order, a market order, or a grid buy. And this is for buying. Okay. The same thing will happen for sell. Okay. So if you click, if you go back one screen and you click sell, that button at the bottom will turn red, which means you're wanting to sell. Um, if you if it is green, it's buying. So if you want to sell, you could click sell. And again, you're going to click limit, and it's going to give you three options. Limit order, market order, a grid sell. A limit order is where you get to specify what price you are willing to either buy or sell a coin at. A market order is whatever the going price is. So if you are like, you know what, I'm going to wait 
three and a half years. And if Bitcoin hits 30,000 again, I want to buy all in. And you could type that in. You could put a limit order price 30,000. And then you can slide your slider over to 100% of your USDT. Or what you can do is you can say, you know what? I think Bitcoin's getting ready to go up here within the next month or two. And you could just do market order. And whatever you get it for is what you get it for. It's probably not going to be something insane like 60,000 right now. It'll probably be like somewhere between 30 and 40, depending on when you're watching this video. But that's kind of how a market works order works now here is the hidden gem this third one okay the grid buy and the grid sell so this grid buy you end up being able to type in whatever you want your high price to be and your low price to be so if you want a grid buy of um bitcoin and you say, okay, I know that it's probably going to hit 30000 but I think the lowest, the absolute lowest it'll hit is 28000 I'm going to put a high price of 30000 I'm going to put a low price of 28000 And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put grids in. You have a choice of putting 2 to 10 grids. So what it's going to do is it's going to break up that price range into however many grids you have. So, so if I put 10 Okay. If I put 10 in, then what's going to end up having is it'll break that 30 to 28 up into 10 different buys. And then however much you want to buy, it'll split it up automatically. Um, and so whatever price it gets down to, say it hits 30, it buys, and it goes all the way down to like 28.75. And then it comes back up. Well, you've just kind of you've averaged your price down to that around there and then it's going to go back up. That way you don't have to kind of, you have multiple chances to buy at a dip. Okay. And then the same thing happens with a grid sell. So you can do the same thing only the opposite. So you say you think, you know, I just bought Bitcoin at 20 or 32,000. I think it'll get to 36 but I want to start selling it at 34. So I'll go 34 to 36,000 and then I'll do 10 grids. And as it goes up, it'll sell, 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 sell until it gets to wherever it comes. And then you can buy it back again. All right. All right, everybody. Again, I'm hoping this helps out a little bit. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. Please watch some other videos if you have questions. Um, they're probably on another video. I, um, I hope you subscribe. If you have friends who are having trouble with stuff, let them know about my videos. Let them know about uh, Pinex. If you have questions, let me know either through the comments or through Discord or Telegram, Facebook. I'm on all of them. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Discord, Telegram. Did I say Telegram already? I think I did. All of them, okay? Anywhere, Gridbot Guru, find me, ask me a question, um, and let me know what you think, okay? Uh, as always, everybody, I hope you have a great day trading, and stay green.